welcome Julian Temple. Nice to see you, Julian. Nice to you. Now, I was a, a great friend and fan of Joe Strummer's. Is it a film about Joe or is it about The Clash? Well, we lost met each other around Joe's campfire, didn't we? Yes. It's got to be a film about Joe. It's, 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 a, it's a story of man's life. If he was only known for The Clash, that'd be one thing, but to tell people about everything that Joe represents and what he can give to people who don't even know him yet, yeah. uh, that's what the film's about. How did you get to know him? Well, I knew him as a squatter. I was squatting around here, you know. We used to squat in the BBC, where, anywhere. It was all, all available. Uh, and Joe was banned. The 101ers were obviously the big news on the block. They were supporting all the squatters' causes and so on. So I knew he was this long-haired hippie, and he had a squat around the corner. We'd see him in the street. I saw him at the Elgin. Fantastic band, the 101ers. But what, what really freaked me out was the punk festival at 100 Club. There's suddenly on stage this kind of immaculate punk version of this guy who'd been a kind of shuffly, hippie-type guy yeah. weeks before, you know, it was like yeah. a complete reinvention, but so good uh, that, you know, the Pistols were already doing what they needed to do, but you knew this was a, another really powerful dimension in that yeah. same moment, you know. What are, what are we going to see, actually? Tell us what we're going to have a shot look. in bog roll vision. Yes. Because uh, that's what we used in those days. Uh, it's the, the Clash. I filmed. I tried to make a film about The Clash in 76. Uh, but in the end, you had to choose between the pistols and the clash. But this is what I shot, as I say, bog roll vision coming up. Um, Let's have a little look at Joe earlier. Until on they kick me other out. Other bits yeah. of the clash. The day that I joined the clash was very much back to square one, year zero. It was a bold move for me to jump into something different. Two guys in the back room of a squat in Shepherd's Bush. But I knew you could tell by looking at them. You didn't even have to speak to them. Make and pull, but different. I think we started to rehearse that afternoon. Bernie hired a warehouse off British Rail in Camden Town. Sometimes Bernie would come down and throw us out at night and we'd break back in when he'd gone. We were that key. It was very much being like in a 24-hour gang, you know? We only had each other. Who, who are some of the... Um... Who are some of the other people that have contributed to the film? There's people from other bands, you know. Well, lots other... of friends of Joe. We did it all around the campfire, so obviously there are people that people, you know, famous people, but there are a lot of people like you know that would be around jo Joe's campfire who, who lived with him, knew him. So it's a mixture of all kinds of people. But, you know, Jack Sparrow is there. Um, Bono, I think, it comes to the fire. Um, Martin Scorsese, who was a, a great fan of Joe's. A lot of people wanted to be in this film because of what Joe did to their lives. Yeah. He did touch people in, in a way that most rock and roll stars, pop stars, whatever you want to call them, don't yeah. get near, you know. Now, you, you've made a lot of films, um, you know, about music, the great rock and roll swindle, Glastonbury, all the, lots of different films about music, really, or that feature music. What do you think makes a great music film? Well, I, you know, I don't really make films just about the music. I think music should be a window, because I think great music is written by, to the world, to some kind of understanding of the world. I think great music's written by people who really pull it out of their lives and what they've lived, and they connect with what people are going through in their lives. What I feel you've got to get to is, is what charged those people to make that song, sing that song, what bit of their life do they rip it out of, that's when music works to me, and that's what I'd like to film. It's a social thing, it's a cultural thing, and music is philosophy, it's, it's dance, it's visual, you know, every, it's, Sex, it's death, life, a lot. The whole thing, you know. What's the, what's the film about Joe called? It's called The Future is Unwritten. The Future is Unwritten. So yeah. you can see it at the cinema and in a while on DVD. Thank you very much for joining us, Julian Temple. Thank you.